All right, so at times, Michael Chiesa has been on the cusp of welterweight title contention. He is one of the best grapplers in this division. His submission defense of late has left a little bit to be desired, but there is no denying his status as one of the best offensive jiu-jitsu players in this division. He has worked exceedingly hard on his boxing, his lateral movement, his jab. Undeniably, we have seen appreciable strides when it comes to his striking. But most guys are going to have the upper hand in that realm against Michael Chiesa. Let us see how Chiesa chooses to proceed in this matchup here tonight. In the UFC, he's one of the most diverse, nasty strikers the UFC has ever seen. And you couple that with that college wrestling background. Every time you step foot in the octagon with Ferguson, you know you have your hands full. One of the most exciting fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is an eight-point striker, outstanding submission game, has a lot of good chokes in his arsenal. He'll lean on that Darce choke, has a pretty good triangle as Watch well. That low single. I'm telling you, <laughs> Tony Ferguson ready to prove yet again that he is one of, if not the best lightweight. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Champion of the world, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Let's do it. Well, back in 2012, Michael Chiesa won the Ultimate Fighter live at 155 pounds. And of course, once he found the welterweight division, he has gone on to reside primarily in the top 10. Another big spot for him here tonight. Most of you know, no secret as to what Chiesa is trying to do. He is going to be physical. He is going to try to get you in the clinch. Ideally, put you on your back and choke you to sleep shortly thereafter. Ferguson gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Push kick there to the body. Right, only round one action here. He's going to get team. Great submission defense. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Constantly a moving target. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Tony Ferguson. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous hey, position. Scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, so the fighter's having a reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his office. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job 
of Wilder's opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. <laughs> the way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Great reversal to top position by Chiesa, though. Now he's going full mount. He's doing a really good job of putting himself in position. The ground strikes starting to pile up. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they could be going. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound for very patient stop, stop, stop. ground and pound for such a dominant position. Uh, excellent job last round. I really like your ground control. This round, we want to do the exact same thing. Let's start this off with a big take. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. Oh, he didn't like that one. Nice front kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, nice. Nice. On the shot. There you go, single leg. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep the half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Now the hammer fist here by Ferguson. He's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Just work, I'll stand this up, you need to work. Jump on his back, over under. And now he's got the back. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Under two minutes to go in the round. Kies is in half court. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Beautiful ground strikes land. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Final seconds here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Oh. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to Great get past work. his guard. One that last round. 
This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work that way. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent Ready, from the top fight. position. Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up again. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Let me see those kicks. Solid kick by him there. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jump up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big ah. martial arts fight? You don't... GS is looking for that arm triangle. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, somehow he gets out of fantastic submission, D. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Ferguson going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Chiesa, though. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Nice defense. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Well, he's got his back now. Oh, right into Mount. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Kies is attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Chip, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. is back in half guard. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, man, take a seat. Come on, let's get your act together now. I know you're better than this, okay? We're not going to let this guy outwork us. You're going to go out this round, and you're going to outwork him. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about this championship. Man. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. This is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Kies is in half guard. And now he's inside control. All right, you don't see this every day. North-south position on the ground. 
lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Big right hook there by the champ. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Michael Kies. Another ground and pound strike lands. Big ground and pound. Kies's pass attempt denied. Oh, nice headlock. That dart choke is tight. It looks like the dart choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his head. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, that was deep, but he got out. That was beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Chiesa, though. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, good defense, yes. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Great submission defense. Under a minute to go. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Kiesa. A lot of top pressure being applied here. 20 minutes down, five to go. Great work last round. Keep that pace up. Wow, I'm impressed. You really broke him down with your striking. Keep that going. The inside low kick is awesome. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning you and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Fifth and final round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Beautiful. Big hammer fist there by Kiesa. Well, why fix it if it's not broken? Hammer fist again by Kiesa. Round and pound the hammer mark call him would be quick. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Beautiful transition. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Kukui's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Working out of the half guard here. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Kiesa, though. Man, look how flexible those legs are. He's got them in rubber guard. I don't think I can do that if I try. I mean, John, don't sell yourself short. <laughs> you just might be able to do it. But if you do, John, you're doing it with the idea that you're slowing everything right. down as a defensive fighter. There are submissions, right? There are submissions, but they're very rare submissions that we don't see used very often in the UFC. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up around the shoulders 
and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything down. Are there submissions? Yes. But the ideal thing in this position is to slow you down from damaging and really just make you feel more in danger than you really are. Oh, nice. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. The young belly. Get the ball here. 20 seconds to go in the fight. So there it is, the final horn, a lifetime of work, all building to this moment. And the underdog challenger comes up large with his striking game tonight. He's going to be the new champ. I mean, he came up big in a massive spot. He was the underdog. He wasn't supposed to get this done. He relied on what got him here, the striking, to take the title from the long-reigning champion. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-46, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Michael. Yes, sir. Oh, take my money, DC. We got a new UFC lightweight champion.